Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. A very good morning and salam sejahtera. Sawadika. Dr. Pichat Popakti, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Thailand. His Excellency Pengiran Sahari Pengiran Saleh, the Ambassador of Brunei Darussalam to the Kingdom of Thailand, Mr. Alias bin Haji Abu Bakar, Center Director, Simi of Voktek, Dr. Kamaswaran Jayaraja, Research, Evaluation and Assessment Specialist, Simi Secretary, Thailand, Governing Board Members and Representative of Senior Member Countries, Senior Voktek Center Directors, Deputy Directors, High Commissioners, Ambassadors, and representative from associate member and affiliate members, esteemed guests, audience from all over the region and beyond joining us today. Welcome to Simeo Voktak International Conference on Digitalizing and Greening of Tibet for Sustainable Development in conjunction with Simeo Voktak's 33rd Governing Board Meeting in collaboration with OVAC, of Office of Vocational Education commissioned, supported by GIZ Rikotivet in partnership with Semya Secretariat Thailand. Marking the opening of today's event will be Center Director of Semya Voktak, Mr. Alias Haji Abu Bakar, who will be delivering his remarks. Honorable guests, please welcome Mr. Alias. Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen. Wa salatu wa salamu ala ashrafil anbiya mursalin. Sayyidina Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sallam biya jama'in. A very welcome to our esteemed guest of honor, His Excellency Dr. Fichet Pupadi, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education Thailand. His Excellency Panginan Sahari Panginan Saleh, the Ambassador of Brunei Darussalam to the Kingdom of Thailand. Dr. Kamalas Warren Jairaja, Research Evaluation Assessment Specialist on behalf of our Senior Secretary Director, Thailand. All our government members, representative of Senior Member Countries and Senior Centre Directors, our keynote speakers, Professor Dr. George Sputo from University of Bremen, Germany, Dr. Margarita Fabloba. Director, Univox Center, Hong Kong, and Mr. Julian Magnet, Green Job Specialist for International Labor Organization, ILO. All our panelists are representing senior countries, ASEAN Secretariat, universities, industry partners, as well as our moderators. Management and staff of Simeo Voltic and Office of Vocational Education Council of Vietnam, Thailand. All our invited guests, ladies and gentlemen. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Good morning, Saudi Cup. I am pleased to welcome all of you to Simi Vortex International Conference in conjunction with our 33rd Governing Board meeting, which was held yesterday. Today's international conference has been specifically arranged in the spirit of information sharing and networking amongst various stakeholders in the Tibet industry. As the regional center for Tibet training, it's our role to disseminate current information and share the latest happenings in the Tibet industry, be it regionally or beyond, to fulfill our mandate of, of capacity building and sustainable development of vocational and technical education in ASEAN. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, digital and greening are the new emerging trends in Tibet for its sustainability. As you know, we can't have one without the other. Our, our counterparts in the West have already begun their digitalization and greening initiatives, and now it is time for us to integrate and incorporate these initiatives in the ASEAN-Tibet 
landscape. Digital transformation has been swiftly happening in various sectors and have accelerated due to COVID-19. During the pandemic, we were aware of how important it was to be digitally ready as it was the only way that we could work, study and connect. As such, it is crucial for Tibet to embark on its digitalization process for it to maintain its relevancy in the digital era. With the consequences of the fourth industrial revolution, IF open zero, where the landscape of education and work has drastically changed, it is time for us to create digital innovations, adopt new digital, adopt new digital technologies, and be prepared to work and study in a digital environment. Similarly, another emerging trend in the, in the green paradigm, which is equally crucial for sustainability, it is reported that in Asia alone, there will be about 50 million green jobs in the next coming years, which will then require green skills that can only be obtained through appropriate training and development. Therefore, in order to be sustainable, Tibet providers need to, need to develop and design a green curriculum. Tibet instructors should be trained to teach green embedded content and use green friendly technologies in their training. In view of these new emerging trends, the focus of this conference is to provide the participants with a solid understanding of digitalization and greening from the experts. The keynote speakers and panelists invited to this event will address the concerns and opportunities of digitalization and greening from various perspectives. This would be the brief points of policymakers. TV providers, universities, development agencies, and relevant players. Our aim is for this complaint to provide participants with a holistic view of these two emerging trends and to understand how, very, how various sectors are tackling and, and creating novel parts by employing both digitalization and greening for sustainable development of Tibet. We hope that the discussion today will show us how we can use innovative technologies to enable green development and drive a wider digital inclusion in Tibet around ASEAN. This conference has been designed to capture the effective and good practices of institution, the various national policies put in place to counter the problem faced and the responses of the industry players who continue to support and facilitate the growth and sustainability of the industry. We hope that the conference will be insightful and interesting for participants to learn and understand the responses of the wider population to the challenges of the digital and greening Tibet for its sustainable development. Over the past two years, we have been taught to be proactive, agile, and adaptive in response to the changes that we encounter. It is in such times that we need to gain insight from each other of innovative ideas, good policies, and practices that will enable us to grow and be resilient in our current volatile world. His Excellency, ladies and gentlemen, in addition to the conference, we will also be having two launches today. Firstly, the launching of the private sector page on our Tibet knowledge platform, cvet.net. The inclusion of the private sector page is to encourage and engage the private sector and industry to the success of any Tibet system. I would like to take this opportunity to acknowledge 
and express our appreciation to Miss Siti Ruth Mirianti, Dato Sulela Indra Ajay Abdul Rahman, the ex-chairman of ASEAN Business Advisory Council, for her contribution toward the private sector page. Today, we will also launch the collaboration of Senior Board Tech and Nisai Globe Limited UK on the functional English program for TV teachers in the Southeast Asia. We hope that this program will strengthen the English proficiency of TV teachers in the region. I am very pleased that we are able to have these two launches today and it signifies Simeon Bortis' continuous effort in raising the bar of quality TV system across ASEAN and beyond. On this note, I would like to express my deepest appreciation firstly to the Ministry of Education Thailand and OVEC for your strong support and backing for us to host this event today. I also take the opportunity to thank the Ministry of Education Brunei who has given us their support and trust to organize this international event here in Bangkok. My heartfelt thanks and appreciation to all our distinguished keynote speakers and panelists. Thank you for your kindly accepting our invitation in spite of your busy schedules and for your willingness to be part of our event today. Your strong support has really given a boost to this conference. Last but not least, to all our participants from the international countries, from ASEAN and from Thailand, who are present with us today, and those who are joining us through the live streaming on YouTube, we greatly appreciate your strong support and participation in this conference. And the time that you spend with us today would be an investment in your professional and personal development. We sincerely hope that this conference will serve as a platform to enrich your knowledge about the current world of work with regards to digitalization and greening. I must say that with the lineup of speakers that we have today from various key international agencies and member countries, we are sure to be rewarded with a wealth of information and insight. Finally, to all my management and staff and all big staff who have worked tirelessly over the last few months to get ready for the conference, my sincere thanks to all of you. May this be a successful conference, a great platform for exchanging and sharing ideas, networking, and opportunity to meet so many of you in person after the long absence. All the best, and together we excel. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Thank you, Mr. Alias, for the opening address and for sharing the audience the purpose and intent of today's conference. Following the speech by Simeo Voktek Center Director, we are pleased to share a welcoming address from Simeo Secretary Director, Dr. Ethel Pascual Valenzuela. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome. Your Excellency, Ms. Trino Fientong, Minister of Education of Thailand, Distinguished Officers, Mr. Sompon Pandang, Deputy Secretary General of the Office of Vocational Education Commission of Thailand. Honorable Mr. Alias Haji Abu Bakar, Center Director of Simeo Boktek, valued keynote speakers, panelists, and moderators, dear participants, ladies and gentlemen, a very good morning to all of you from Simeo Secretariat here in Bangkok, Thailand. As the Simeo Secretariat, we are very, very proud of our Regional Center for Vocational and Technical Education and Training, Simeo Voktek, for having organized this fantastic and timely conference on digitalizing and greening of TVET for sustainable development. I would like to take this opportunity to thank the Office of Vocational Education Commission and the Ministry of Education in Thailand for the support to make this event possible. Today, 
we are addressing key issues on not only in technical education, but on the future of our peoples. Every day, we see the impact of climate change and the limitations of our natural resources became more apparent. Consequently, environmental sustainability has evolved as a critical benchmark for all societies. As the Southeast Asian Ministers of Education Organization, we proactively advocate for fostering of a sustainable mindset among our peoples for implementing proactive change across all levels of the society, global economy, towards a green transformation. Green skills will become increasingly important for all sectors and occupations as sustainable development is rising on the political and economic agenda. And technological development is driving growth in renewable and green technologies. Tibet is well suited to supply this new skill demand, offering workplace competencies related to this issue. While our demand for green skills is increasing, education and training responses in many countries have been slow to respond. For our learners to consider green in their studies, and everyday life, we must focus on embedding sustainability in Tibet curricula, in training regulations, in the future workplace, and in society to advance sustainable development. At the same time, we also must consider how the introduction of new technology and tools can be utilized to make Tibet delivery itself more sustainable and accessible. To foster a green mindset inside and outside of formal education and training settings. At CIMEO, we put great emphasis in transforming education towards inclusiveness, quality, and sustainability through the work of our regional centers. To achieve this, we need to engage everyone from students to policymakers, from teachers to trainers, and education providers linking it with companies. Let me congratulate Simeo Voktek for doing exactly this and bringing us all here today to discuss the challenges and opportunities that come with digitalizing and greening Tibet for sustainable development. The Simeo Secretariat sincerely appreciates the effort of Simeo Voktek management as well as Simeo Voktek staff officials in conducting this conference. Because of your hard work, we are looking towards an exciting day of enriching and engaging discussion. I wish you all a successful, insightful, and memorable event. Thank you very much. Ladies and gentlemen, that was Dr. Ethel. Our utmost appreciation and heartfelt thanks to Dr. Ethel for her constant support to Sumio Voktek's endeavors. Ladies and gentlemen, now, let us give a warm welcome to His Excellency, Dr. Pichat Popakdi, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Thailand, to give his address. Your Excellency, Penkiran Haji Sahari, Penkiran Haji Saleh, Ambassador of Brunei, Darussalam, to the Kingdom of, to, of Thailand, Dr. Kamaliswalan Jaya Lacha, on behalf of Director of the CMO Secretary. Mr. Alist, Mr. Alist bin Haji Abu Bakar, Director of Simio Wotek Regional Center. Flying Officer, Sumpon Pandam. Deputy Secretary General of OVEC, Ministry of Education, Thailand. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Ministry of Education of Thailand, I would like to thank Simio Wotek and OWEC for inviting me at the opening ceremony of the International Conference today. Congratulations to CMO WOCTEC and OWEC for organizing this International Conference to address important and urgent issues on sustainable development. At this moment, we are experiencing a rapid change in technology and workforce requirements that education and training providers should respond to provide 
really want competencies for our graduates. At a national level, many countries have come up with strategic policy in response to the industrial revolution, such as Thailand 4.0, Singapore Smart Nation Initiative, Malaysia Industry for the Video are the unlocking Indonesia's digital opportunity, etc. Parallel to the initiative for modernizing industry, education and training systems, we are also facing serious sustainable development issues. Climate change has brought about natural disaster. Tibet, as the major education and training provider for preparing our future workforce, must be in the forefront in addressing a sustainable development issue. Therefore, TWET graduates must have a green mindset and green skills. Likewise, together with industry, government must be able to develop green economies for creating green jobs. If we can synergize these efforts, digitalizing and greening TWET will be we will be able to contribute significantly to sustainable development in which both economic and environment sustainability can be assured. Now we can no longer effort to ignore one pillar of education for sustainable development over the others. The three pillars, including economic, so socio-cultural, and environmental, must be considered simultaneously simultaneously. I'm really hopeful that this international conference will be able to contribute to the SDGs. Together, let's make a higher impact on sustainable development by creating realistic statements as a reminder that we can no longer think, think and behave in ways that will jeopardize the future of our next generation. In that sense, this is certainly an excellent avenue for participants to share, discuss, and identify innovative TWIT policies and practices from across the Southeast Asian region and beyond. I look forward to hearing about the outcomes of the conference. Let me take this opportunity to thank all the key spe keynote speakers, panelists, the organizers, CMO Voktek, OVIC, and supporting partners, GISAT, Liko Tiwet, for such a timely conference. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Have a good day. Thank you, His Excellency, Dr. Pichet Papakti, for your welcoming remarks, and more importantly, for gracing today's event. Honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, may we now present to you Simia Voktek's conference launching video.
That was Simeo Voktag's conference video. Following the video for Simeo Voktag International Conference is the announcement of a new endeavor by Simeo Voktag in close partnership with GIZ Recruitivet under the umbrella of the joint project regional knowledge platform CVET.net. Ladies and gentlemen, may we present to you Private Sector Page. CVET.net, the one's top hub for technical and vocational education and training, information in Southeast Asia. The most comprehensive knowledge collection for TVET learning and collaboration, CVET.net is home to news, publications, e-learning opportunities, and regional events calendar, offering policymakers and stakeholders from the education sector with useful information to advance TVET in the region. But what about the private sector? We know the involvement of businesses and skills development is crucial for the quality and relevance of training. However, the private sector continues to be underrepresented in the TVET dialogue. Although TVET represents a viable solution to one of the most pressing challenges for companies in ASEAN, creating a skilled and resilient workforce to remain competitive in the changing world of work. It is time to empower companies to get more active in skills development. Our goal is to guide companies in understanding their role and skills development and help them to get started. Therefore, CVET.net has created the Private Sector Page, a knowledge hub for TVET information catering specifically to the demands of the business world. Whether businesses are just starting their skills development journey or are already experienced, we provide tailor-made information for everyone. Not sure whether TVAT is a net positive for companies? Become interested by the proven benefits of implementing TVAT. Receive monetary support to get started in TVAT? Identify incentives provided by national governments. Afraid of starting from zero? Find practice cases or be guided by TVET information relevant to the private sector. Sounds interesting? Then find many more services on our page. With the private sector page, companies finally have a comprehensive and hands-on overview to start engaging in skills development. Easy to understand, up-to-date and directly actionable. Let's strengthen the collaboration among all relevant TVET partners for creating a higher skilled and work-ready labor force in the ASEAN region. Visit the private sector page by CVET.net and spread the word. That was the launching of CVET.net private sector page. To our valued guests, please continue to look forward to all the new knowledge hub connecting TVET information and in the business world. CMEO Voktek looks forward to strengthening the collaboration among all relevant TVET partners for creating a higher skilled and work-ready labor force in the ASEAN region. Following the showcase of the private sector page is the launching of the collaboration between Simia Voktek and Nisai on the functional English program for TVET teachers in Southeast Asia.
was the launching of NISAI, our functional program on functional English for TVET teachers in Southeast Asia in collaboration with Simia Vokta. Following the video presentations, the Regional TVET Center would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the Minister, Minister of Education, Thailand, for their support in Simeo Voktek's international conference. May we invite Simeo Voktek Center Director, Mr. Alias Haji Abu Bakar, onto the stage to present a souvenir to our guest of honor, His Excellency Dr. Pichad Papakdi, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Thailand. Following this souvenir presentation is a group photo session. May we invite our guest of honor, Dr. Pichad Popakdi, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Ministry of Education, Thailand, His Excellency Pangiran Sahari, Pangiran Saleh, the Ambassador of Brunei Darussalam to the Kingdom of Thailand, Mr. Alias Bin Haji Bubakar, Center Director of Simia Voktek, Dr. Kamaleswaran Jayaraja, Research Evaluation Assessment Specialist, Simia Secretariat, who has attended in, on behalf of Dr. Ethel. Simeo Voktek Deputy Directors, our Honorable Keynote Speaker, Program Component Manager, GIZ Rikutivet, Ms. Siri Pond, CEO of NISAI, Governing Board Members of Simeo Voktek, High Commissioners, Ambassadors, and Representatives from Associate Member and Affiliate Members for a Group Photo on the Stage. May we kindly invite our governing board members of Senior of Octech and keynote speakers. <laughs> 